I'm Lee Skinner and I'm here to show you my new Cosmic Shimmer Artist Pigment Paints. Now we've got six colours in total. First up is Raw Umber. Uh, really good rust techniques. Next up is Payne's Grey. It's a, a kind of a, a blue-black. And a lot of artists, especially canvas artists, use this rather than black. It's, it's a lot less harsh and again, great for rust techniques. We've got transparent yellow on oxide, uh, again very transparent, uh, good for rust techniques. Again, those of you that know me know that I love my rust techniques. Cobalt teal hue, uh, again another wonderful colour and it mixes with the other colours perfectly. Prussian blue, absolutely fantastic colour and I'll be showing you this um, in this video. These are all very strong pigments, they're artist pigments, so they're not your normal craft paint. Quinacridone gold, probably the most popular colour there is in the world uh, for us techniques. You, you can't be without this colour, it's just an amazing colour. Uh, I will explain a little bit about these pigments. Now, most craft paints are man-made pigments. Artist pigments come from the ground. Um, or they can be man-made also, but they're artist pigments. The thing with artist pigments is, in their natural form, they can be very translucent, they can be opaque, but I really go for the transparency. And these six colours that I put together, um, all the effects I do really are based around these six colours. But you can use them with the Cosmic Shimmer chalk paints as well, and, and mix them up. So, I'm going to go a bit geeky with you now. Most craft paints have a thing called a matting agent. So when you paint with your craft paints, they will all dry with the same sheen, normally matte. These have no matting agents added to them whatsoever. When you add a matting agent to a pigment, it destroys transparency and it destroys vibrancy. They won't be as vibrant. So there's no matting agents. Paint companies also add fillers to paint. And what fillers do, they bulk out the paint so they can produce more paint at the cheaper price. These have no fillers, because fillers do the same. They destroy transparency, um, where these have none of it. So you'll find they're very transparent. I'll just show you, um, on this tag here, the transparency of these colours. So we've got some of the mixed media transfers on here. This is quinacridone gold. If you paint over, it's like an ink. You can see those colours beneath. Let's go with Prussian blue. And again, the pigments are very strong. So you only need a very small amount. Um, it is advisable to have clean water if you're going to do what I'm doing now, which is called a wash. So, probably about 50% water to the blue. As that hits the queen gold, we get these lovely green tones. If you feel you're going on too deep, just add a bit more water to it. Now we'll go for some transparent yellow on oxide. Now you can put this on neat and it's still going to be transparent and you can blend that in to your Prussian blue, we we'll go with a little bit of water. Then that into the Prussian blue and the Queen Gold. And now we we'll go for a little bit of Payne's Grey. Some 
water. If you've got a spray mister with just water in, that works perfectly too. So you can see all the images show through. So that, that's your difference. If you were to do this, let's say, with the, a chalk paint or a basic craft paint, you would have covered up all that detail, but they still shine through. So that's the uh, six artists pigments. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you soon. Thanks very much.